return. So this equal to 30k, probably not be return. Franklin, 40k will be return. The next Alice, no. And the next, and Jennifer will be return. Amish will be return. As long as their salary is bigger than 30k, they will be return like the John. And Alice, Jen, uh, Franklin, and so on. They will be returned. Look at the output of this. <coughs> you see the relation or not? What is a relation? A group of tuples. A group of tuples. Output of this is also relation. Okay? Input of operation is relation. Output of any operation is also relation. Which means, can I use output of this one as the input of relation? Yes, because output of this one is a relation. For example, I'd like to retrieve the employee whose salary is bigger than 30K. Okay? The result of that operation, among them, I need an employee whose department is number four. The NO is number four. You can use such a way. Why? Because this is the input of this one. But this one is the output of this. So you can give the two conditions at the same time. So simply you can say, I'd like to retreat, employee whose salary is bigger than 30k, and department number is 4. Can I change? Any difference? Yes. Yes? yes? What is the difference? The difference here, that it will give you the inner uh, select will give you the the employees that in the department. So mm -hmm. maybe they they have less or more than thirty thousand k. So no the difference in terms of the output. You can get first for the employee whose department is number four. Then check salary is bigger than thirty k. Or you can check the salary is thirty k. Then take the department number four. Any difference? Actually, no difference. You can change the order. Like the A plus B is the same as B plus A. This operation allowed to change the order. Okay? However, keep your mind, in terms of performance, there are huge difference. Not actually huge in this case, but a little bit different. Why? Anyone? Because uh, this is faster than the previous. Because not all the employees are registered in the department of four. But when you... Uh, it depends on the selectivity, the distribution of the data. For example, we have 10 million of employees who are in the department number four. Then check this one. We have only one. So you need to keep 10 million of employees in the memory when you process it. However, if you access only salary is 30, bigger than 30k, we have only one. Then check whether department number four. We can keep only just one. At the time, this one will be faster. So in terms of performance, we cannot say which one is faster right now. But it depends on the data. Who is in charge of that? Query optimizer will decide based on the statistics. Yes. Uh, Whatever it is, the, the vice versa of this mm -hmm. is sl much slower because mm -hmm. if you uh, make, a for selection, make, a, say, make a selection for, yeah. to, to search for... I understand. In, in the extreme case, Whatever. you do not have anyone. The D and O four. No one. Okay? Nobody there. Nobody? That's it. Faster than opposite. This is faster than that. But it depends on the types of data. Okay? So this one is one case. DNO has 
or pending as cases. Okay, whatever. It's yes. just, it's so just you need to keep 10 million of data in the memory. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. just, if you make it reverse, mm -hmm. if you so change. Make a select yes, this is much slower. So let's say we do not have any employee whose salary is bigger than 30. But you have to search all the employees. It depends on. If all we have index for this one, it depends. So we cannot say which one is faster right now. It can be discussed in advanced database code. So tuning power, purely optimization power. But you should keep, keep your mind. The, in terms of power, we can change. However, in terms of performance, it can be different. That is a select, select operation. OK? Then, what about this? this why don't we use? Why don't we combine this, like D and O is equal to 4, and salary is equal to 30K for employee. Does it make sense? Yes. So you can combine into what? As many conditions as possible for select operation. So let's see the example like this one. It's a simple math. You can this way. It's a called conjunctive. So you can have the conjunctive uh, condition with logical operation and or. For example, this one. What does that mean? The animal is equal to four and salary is. What does that mean? I, yes. I'd like to retrieve the employee whose department is 4. In department 4, and salary is bigger than 2,025K. Uh, Why? I want to retrieve the employee also, whose department is 5, and salary is 30K that will be returned. That is select operation. Then one more question is, this might be the return data. This is also relation, right? The next, this is a select. The next operation is we can access because the definition of the relation is not only for group of the data, but group of tuples. So when I access the employee, I don't want all the attribute, all the information about the employee. I need only first name, middle name, initial, last name. All the other, no, I don't need. But if we do not specify the attribute in the memory, we need to keep all the information. It's a waste of space, waste of memory, waste of I.O. input and output. So how can we specify such an attribute? Using selection? No. Selection is only for the data. So second operation is called projection. Projection is used by Symbol is pi, capital letter pi, Greek letter pi. So pi is used for what? To specify the attribute, set of attributes. For example, here, I want to retrieve last name, first name, and salary. Of what employee? Can we use the two relation over here? No, only one relation at one time. And also, output of this one. What is the output of this? It's also relation, but it's a smaller relation. For example, I think we have the example. Yes. In this case, we retain all your attributes. However, I need only first name and middle name initial last name. This, not the other. Then we can use high what? D and O and condition employed. Output of the this select 
direction is also input of type. What? First name. Middle name initial. Last name. That is this one. Also, that is relation. So you can use that relation for input of other operations. So you can combine combination as many as possible between selection and projection. You can project first, right? You can specify the first name, middle name, initial, last name, then later you can select. Or you can first select and do the projection later. In terms of output, no difference. However, in terms of performance, will be different. Okay? That is projection. So projection is for what? Projection is to specify the attribute. Then, let's see this one. Last name, first name, salary employee. How many tuples will be returned for this? All the tuples of employee. It will be, let's count how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? So, 7 tuples will be returned. Selected this. What about the set and salary of employee? How many tuples? Same. Same? Same. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, this 7, why? We, even though we have access the same relation, but different number of the tuples. Why? One of them is not. One of them is not. Any others? Let me show the employee. So we access this eight. We access sales and salary. But seven. It's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then why we get only the seven? <laughs> male thirty, male forty, female twenty-five, female forty, male thirty-eight, female twenty-five. It's the same, right? The Alicia and Joyce, they have the same sex, same salary. Then what? The that is the female to twenty-five. Female twenty-five, only one. Can you explain what happened here? Because the uh, consider is duplicate data. Duplicate data. Duplicate uh, tuples. Yes. Then why duplicate duplicated data is eliminated? It's by the divisor itself. What is this? It's a relation. Relation. Does a relation allow to duplicate data? No. That is the important thing. In relational algebra operation, output of the relational operation never ever allow duplicate data. In case there you just eliminate, remove any duplicate data. What about the real database language, SQL? Have you ever used the SQL? Anyone? Yes. What about the duplicate data? Can you? Yes, it allows duplicate data. Yes. Because the user want to get all the return data. Even though SQL is based on relational algebra, there are a little bit different. This is one of them. Okay? In terms of relational algebra, actually does not allow any duplicate information. That duplicate data will be eliminated. Why? Because output of this is also a relation. According to the definition of relation, it doesn't allow the duplicate data. So keep your mind in relation of operation, it does not allow any duplicate data. If yes, you need to eliminate. That is a relation of algebra. Okay, so that is a project and that is called one more thing. The last one. So, so we will take care of the next class for Renee, from Renee. Okay? So any question?